Let's look at the copy command. With copy, you can copy snapshots between repositories. Let's look back into the media snapshot. And we see we have multiple snapshots in this backup. I've gone ahead and created a new repository that has nothing in it, no snapshots. And I'd like to copy all the snapshots from this backup into backup copy. So we can do rest minus R, and we're going to point to our backup copy repository. So backup copy. This is the repository we want to copy our snapshots into. Then we'll say copy from a repo and specify what repository we want to copy our snapshots from. In this case, it's going to be media. So we simply type media. We have to specify the password for the repository. And this will copy all the snapshots from media into backup copy. This process is going to take quite a long time depending on the size of the backup. All right, the copy is complete. And I just want to point out that the copy command does not erase anything with the destination. It simply copies snapshots from the source repository into the copy. And we see all the snapshots have been copied. Let's go ahead and do snapshots on our backup copy. And we have our snapshots with their tags and other information still applied. I've gone ahead and removed all the snapshots from the backup copy repository. And I'd like to show you how to copy specific snapshots. Just like with other REST commands, you can apply filters to limit which snapshots get copied. In my media backup, I have a snapshot tagged example. I like to just copy this snapshot and none of the others. So what I can do is run this copy command again. And I'll just say tag example. And this will only copy snapshots with the tag example. We see snapshot has been saved. Running snapshots on our backup copy, we have that one snapshot. You can filter by tag, you can filter by host, and of course, path. If you have multiple repositories that you'd like to copy from, you can tell RESTIC to copy snapshots from a list of repositories in a text file. Consider this. I have a text file called copy.txt. And you can put a list of repositories here that you'd like to copy from. In this case, I like to copy from D media. And in our command, instead of specifying from repo, I can do from repository file and then point to our text file. And this should copy that one example snapshot. I've gone ahead and deleted the snapshots in backup copy. It's done. Snapshots, again, are one snapshot. If we do snapshots on our media, we can specify which snapshot by ID. So I'll go ahead and copy our first snapshot and our last snapshot. So I'll do rested, copy, and I will use from repo media. And we'll just copy these IDs. I'll copy the first one. And we can copy the last one. Or we could use latest since it's our last snapshot. Now this copy went a lot faster because some of the data is already in the backup copy. And you'll also notice that these snapshots have been given new snapshot IDs. Copying in this way doesn't guarantee deduplication for subsequent backups. This means that files that you copied into the repository could be re-backed up again during subsequent backups. You can ensure your copied snapshots retain deduplication using the copy chunk or params option. However, this only works when creating a new repository. So what you have to do is create a new repository, in this case, backup copy, and specify the from repo option going to copy from media and make sure to append the copy chunk or params option. And this creates the repository where now if I go ahead and run my copy command, 
I can copy these snapshots and know that subsequent backups to this backup copy repository will retain the duplication. It's complete. If I run my backup command and backup onto my backup copy repository, we see it was instantaneous. And we've got our three snapshots, the two that we copied from and our new backup that we just ran. So our copy was successful. Yeah.